So I'm here with Jared Aiken. He is a starting pitcher for Lower Columbia. And Jared, right off the bat, you know, going to the games, being a pitcher, you have a different mentality than, you know, the hitters do. How do you approach your starts and how do you uh, focus? Um, when I come out, it's just really, the game's all about you. You're in your own real world. You can do what you want. You set the pace. So I just make it all about me and, you know, make sure I'm comfortable with what I'm doing out there. Okay, and then, you know, once again, last year you guys won the championship, you know, won two out of the last three here at Lower Columbia. You know, how are you kind of re-motivating yourself and helping get the, the team motivated to go again? I'm um, just knowing we have a lot of guys who haven't been here, haven't won. I mean, there's three of us or four of us who have been here. We lost, actually lost the first year we were here. But last year we went, and all these people we know we want to repeat. It hasn't been done since, like, 2002, I think, 2003. Just putting our name back up there, getting another board for you know, the tradition we have here. Awesome. Then, you know, going from high school to, to college, you know, high school, obviously, if you, if you can get a good second pitch, you can beat a lot of hitters. But college is a little bit different. So how have you had to up your game and adjust things? Um, you know, coming from high school, it's, you just throw a fastball by everyone. Throw a one-off speed, but in college, you're throwing one pitch for a strike. You're going to get hit hard. You know, to being able to go out and compete without your best stuff, finding a way to win, put the team in a position to win the game when you just not feel 100%. Awesome. So, you know, also kind of looking at, you know, this year, once you're one of the few sophomores who's here, um, what things have you done to really get the, the team motivated and get the, the freshmen, you know, used to this uh, this college level? Um, it's been changed having to deal with, we have a lot of freshmen, so working to help get them realize there are so many opening spots, you know, bring a competitive edge to the field every day without and help them realize if we bring that, we'll be good and win again. Awesome. So, you know, in your life, who has been that, that person that's really kind of that been your motivator and been that uh, that driving force to keep you going? Uh, I'd say it's been my dad. He's always had me be really competitive in everything I do. Just no matter what, I couldn't win. I had to actually truly go out and beat him. And so it really got me the love of winning. Awesome. And is there, is there a professional athlete you've kind of looked at and said, you know what, I love watching that guy play. I kind of want to be like that with his uh, mentality or his work ethic? Um, I like Clayton Kershaw because he goes out there every time, super competitive. If something doesn't go his way, he wants perfection, and he gets really fired up when it doesn't go his way, and he works harder to get it. Awesome. Yeah, Clayton Kershaw is definitely one of those guys. And then the last question I have for you is, you know, looking at the kids who are coming up in, in low league and in high school, what advice do you have for them as they want to try and move forward in their career? I'd say you just got to keep working. It doesn't matter if you're the best player on your team in your state. You're competing against the kids who are playing in Southern California, Texas, year-round. I mean, a lot of times in Northwest you get overlooked as a player. Just go out and chip on your shoulder every day to prove something. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Yeah.